coming up here, Rent takes a final bow after 12 years. How a rock opera that started in a hole-in-the-wall theater revolutionized Broadway. 5, minutes. How Finally, a few blocks from us tonight on Broadway, the curtain falls for good on Rent after 5,140 performances. Rent leaves a remarkable and improbable legacy. This rock opera about drug abuse, homelessness, and AIDS not only became one of the longest running musicals ever, it also changed Broadway. Here's ABC's Gigi Stone. Minutes. That's exactly the number of minutes in a year. The song's message, appreciate every minute as it comes. For the past 12 years, fans of the musical Rent have been relishing every minute of the show. There's success, and there's success, and then there's rent. Young people especially see themselves in the show. And that's why this rock opera, which started at this tiny hole-in-the-wall theater, eventually became credited with revolutionizing Broadway, because it attracted an entirely different kind of audience. Different than the crowds drawn to the G-rated Cats and Phantom of the Opera. Based on Puccini's La Boheme, Rent was about struggling artists in New York tackling controversial issues. To marijuana! Like, the great white way is not ready for homelessness and drug abuse and homosexuality. Emotionally, they responded. They, they loved the characters. It resonated across cultures. 200 live productions around the world. In fact, before it closed today on Broadway, the curious crossed oceans to check it out. You came all the way from Taiwan to watch Rent? Yes. We flown all the way from Sydney, Australia. And yet the one person who missed Rent's meteoric rise was the show's creator. The night before his play performed for the first time, 35-year-old Jonathan Larson died of an aneurysm. God knows how many more great shows, great songs he would have written uh, if he had lived. A stark reminder of the show's message. Live for today and savor every minute. Gigi Stone, ABC News, New York. And if you want another fix of rent, don't worry. A national tour will kick off next year. And that does it for World News on this Sunday. I'm Dan Harris. For all of us here at ABC News, thank you for watching and good night.